This is Petrus Kamper on his search for the best-fitting shoes. As early as 1781, he was frustrated by restrictive shoes that pinched his feet. And because revolutions were the order of the day back then, he wrote the thesis, Freedom for the Toes. He didn't really gain much traction, only appealing to a handful of scientists. And this is Hermann von Mayer from the Napoleonic era, who began to think big and demanded more freedom for the big toe. Of course, all demands for more toe freedom were scientifically substantiated. It was observed that the indigenous people were living without shoes, which was natural, and it was recognized that they got on very well indeed. In contrast, for centuries fashion dictated that waistlines and toes should be lined up because it was considered chic and sexy. It was not until the beginning of the last century that the toes took back their freedom. But alas, it was only in military and hiking footwear. Petra's camper still had to wait for the Liberator. Eighty years ago, Professor Thompson's foot handbook finally came out. Foot massage and gymnastics, as well as an asymmetrical shoe shape, should help the foot and toes to regain their desired freedom. Unfortunately, the necessary willingness of the unreasonable shoe industry was lacking. But toes have suffered enough. Christian Bear embraced the challenge and pioneered the popular Bear Shoe, which is designed with toe freedom. His son Sebastian followed in his father's footsteps, thus completing the work. He created Joe Nimble as a benchmark for uncompromising toe freedom in a contemporary shoe. In 1781, Petrus Kamper had a vision and started fighting for the best-fitting shoes. Today, Joe Nimble has made this dream a reality. And with that, Sebastian Baer finally paved the way for the future of functional footwear.